I'm very conscious that I'm giving this speech in Nottingham, the heart of England, because in many respects, this city encapsulates the challenges we face nationally. On the one hand, Nottingham is the home of two well-established university teacher training providers and the National College for Teaching and Leadership. On the other hand, a recent inspection by Ofsted of eight of the city's secondary schools placed six of them in special measures. I'm not suggesting that the city's training providers are responsible for those poor outcomes. But it is jarring that so many struggling local schools are close neighbours of so much training resource. The disconnect between providers and schools, between theory and practice, between what training too often is and what is actually needed has bedeviled our education system for far too long. We need to ask some serious questions about the effectiveness of the current system of teacher training. Is it as good as it should be? So let me be frank and tell you where I stand. I'm not sure that it is and has been poor for some time. And in fact, if you talk, a lot of head, talk to a lot of head teachers, they would have the same reservations as I have today. How many times have I heard head teachers say, we told the provider that this trainee wasn't up to it and didn't have the capacity to succeed, only to find out that this advice had been ignored and that he or she had progressed into the classroom? How many times have heads said to me that their trainees had been tutored by people with little or no up-to-date school experience or a record of outstanding teaching? How many times have I, heard, have I heard that trainees have been sent into schools without proper guidance on professional behavior and dress? How many times have I heard that trainees have been inadequately prepared to deal with poor behavior in the classroom? How many times have I heard trainees say that they'd they had no idea what good looked like because they had been sent into schools that did not employ good practice. Even worse, how many times have I heard that once their training was complete, newly qualified teachers were left to flounder because they received little or no support from senior and middle leaders? It's a national scandal, nothing less, that we invest so much in teacher training and yet an estimated 40% of new entrants leave within five years. So let me be clear. Ofsted has not been as demanding as it should have been with training providers who have sent newly qualified teachers out into schools unprepared for the rigors of the classroom. So today, I'm announcing a review into how our inspectors will judge training providers.